All right, there we go. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Apologies. Uh, Biology and all. They walked away from the disappointed magician. And Saren spoke quietly to Re- Loren once they were out of earshot. I'm sure that won't be the last time we see that man. Unfortunately. Okay, so... Yeah, I guess, yeah, nothing to do but go to that, that, that town. Quest complete! Travel to Grimoire! 100 XP! We both level up! Walking right. complete! Walking. Alright. Alright, so we get attribute points, and we get skill points. Alright, so clearly she needs to stab things better. What does auto assign? Okay, what does auto assign think we should do? Auto assign thinks we should, we should put it all on the yeah. screen. Auto assign thinks we should, should stab. Um. Um. And what does auto assign suggest here? Um, I guess it's talk. Auto assign thinks talk. Oh. Knock down. Knock down. Actually, yeah, that seems pretty legit. Oh, confuse. It seems awesome. Yeah. And just any other one, like for the two skill points. No, it's just one. Oh, because she's already got that. We. Oh, let's reset. Oh, that just resets that. Super. Oh God. Did it? Did our auto pick? Auto pick and then set because we can't reset. Uh, it does look like that. Yeah. But I mean, it seems like a good skill. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just annoyed. Yeah. All right. So now we know never to click that again. <clears throat> yeah. Well, and it sets us up for this one too. It costs it's 20 SP, on. but it hits the whole front row. Uh, uh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, make more strength. Yeah, that seems good. So we can get... Yes, just make heal better. Less time spent healing. Yeah, because it's a percentage of allies' hit points. Yeah. But at least 100 HP on the sword. Um, 3 in status conditions. That seems pretty sweet, too. Bringing people back to life seems like something we're probably not worried about. Either we're, either we're worried about it a lot or not at all. Um, also, we're on easy, so we can probably just go for one thing. Um, Alright, so let's just, yeah, let's get the heal for now, and then our next one will be the. Because this is the resurrect one. Yeah. Like this is resurrects and knocked out character. character. Uh, we don't get a. He doesn't get abs. Saren gets, uh... Okay, so... Warriors create conditions. Rogues exploit those conditions. Okay. Warriors and mages create them. Okay. Yeah, once you learn a skill, you can't unlearn it. So I guess will? Uh, presumably. Will presumably determines how many how spell many points we get, so how much healing we can do. They arrived in Grimoire. Saren was able to get them past the gate guard without any trouble. Still warning to keep all weapons away. That's not the last. The open market in the town square was bustling with activity. So, this is the human empire and their capital. Uh, I, don't, I don't think she's going to do a little joking. Gonna, like, yeah, let's, again, let's see if we can keep her from trying to stab us, friendly. It seems boring, but I, I see nothing wrong with your eyes. It is only different from the same Where I was also born and literally grew up. But somehow, I read a fucking book. Lauren looks at Saren strangely, but does not say anything. Look at my pouty hazel eyes. And then said something. Come, we need to find out what these settlers know. <laughs> Ren wants to search all over Grimoire for clues, and Saren will have a chance to react to each location. This is the time to build out your character's personality. Every time you select a choice between joking, friendly, or forceful answers, you influence Saren's attitude. Saren's attitude. Oh, okay. 
and you see go to the tavern. Okay, so, go to the tavern last. Marketplace! I walk through the stalls of the market. Loretta flinched and recoiled at everyone that was hurrying past her. Her patience disappeared. She stomped her foot and shouted at the top of her lungs. Enough! I am Loretta of the Amazons. I am on a search for my mother. She oh. bared her teeth and bit so. The whole of the marketplace turned to gawk at her, and then they continued what they were doing, completely uninterested. Loretta was stunned, having never been ignored in her life. Saren was worried that she would take it personally and become angry. He swooped in to disrupt her thoughts. Let us ask one of the vendors personally. Maybe they have seen our queen. Jesus! Let's find the shiftiest of the vendors. Let's find this hipster fanny pack motherfucker. Lorenz lips pressed tightly together as she reluctantly walked up to a fruit stall. That man sells fruit? What? <laughs> this man is backpacking his way through Europe. I, I saw this sketch that he posted on Instagram. I am Princess the Red. My mother, the Queen of the Amazons. Fresh apples, apples, good fruit, good fruit for you. The salesman picked up a bright red fruit that neither of them had seen before. <laughs> then shoved it into Lorenz's hand. Her eyes went large from being handled like a commoner. One apple or two apples? That's right, three days out of your home village and we've got fruit you have never even heard of. Loren, however, was too offended to respond. Two apples, two apples for the surprisingly big woman. Now that I've, I've taken it. Two apples, six gold. Oh, wait, sorry, that was the vendor's wife. Uh, alright. Uh, no, no, we're just talking with a vendor here. We can be joking. <laughs> for what it's worth, I don't think, I don't think you're a big woman. That that that's a shitty joke. We're yeah, never that's, joking again. That's, that's <laughs> no, never again. Sarah and what? Ne negging is not joking. Or do I? Oh, here's the joke. This is the this is the punchline. Or do I? Very big one. The biggest. I love that this stuff makes it completely obvious that this entire game. Reza will pay for attaching the ring. Or drop the apple without care for it. We leave it. Yes, ma'am. Princess would not subject herself to the horror of the marketplace again. Clearly, clearly where we should bring this woman. Oh, what's up, Sean? <laughs> oh, it's a vest. Loren wished to appeal to the strongest people of the city. The grand arena in the heart of Grimoire attracted her immediately. This is their training grounds. Odd, oh, it looks almost like a temple. It looks as if it, would, it is suited to seat an audience, perhaps for a proven. We should be able to find the most influential people here. Saren hoped that this would be true, but not every culture of revered warriors like the Amazons. Loren walked straight into the open pit with their travel, looking very much like she belonged there. Gladiators were training loudly before them, and a few spectators were seated in the stands. Where are all the women? Are you the new recruit? And how was it told about you? Grizzled old man eyed Loren up and down, making her uncomfortable. Behind her was a large gladiator resting against his sword. We're recruiting the shit out of this motherfucker. Does that, he does like he does look like. He's a, he's a pexman. He's a pexman, yeah. Like, his abs, not his greatest absa asset, but look at those pecs. Stretching his nipples to question more locations. Bring me your mightiest warrior. The gladiator raised his chin. You're looking at him. Why? We need a favor in search. We need a favor in the search for my mistress's mother. Warmaster and the gladiator both turned to see Saren for the first time. Now that's more like it. You must be the new recruit. You'll fit right in here. Not joking. <laughs> We've established this. <laughs> We've established that Saren has the <laughs> has no understanding of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It gets better, Sean. Uh, Saren has an eight pack. Yeah, you haven't seen him without his top on yet, but it will happen, and man... He has an 8-pack. Yeah, he, he is, uh, chiseled. Alright. Um, 
friendly. I don't, I don't, I don't think we want to make enemies with these people. We're friendly. We're a friendly guy. Uh, sorry, but I'm not here to join. You're already outfitted, yes? Those, who's been in your fight? There's men from Lothrak and Horus here, too. In fact, this man here. We're going to growl and step in front of Sarah because that's a thing. He's not for sale. Sale? We're done. <laughs> like, the humans who live three days away from the Amazons are like, we don't go there. They practice slavery. <laughs> yeah. We're going to whipped away from the men and Sarah rushed out. The Empire's warriors were not all the day. But we're 100% recruiting that guy at some point, right? No, no. I mean, we want to, yeah. Alright, let's go to the guard post. This is not the guard post, this is the jail! <laughs> Alright, thanks, Kaylee. Let me turn down the music a bit. I'm gonna go to the <laughs> They opted to ask the officials rather than the public. In the jail! I walked up to the guard post. The soldier's chatter was quickly silenced. Loren merely stood, her legs spread and arms crossed. What the fuck are you wearing, man? <laughs> Not a man was taller than her. No one spoke for a very long moment. Uh, while these people are our officials, I'm gonna be friendly. Let's... It does seem, like, why would I be either of those other things ever? These people are all going to murder me if I joke or yell at them. Like, <laughs> you have a convenient stabbing navel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're sorry to intrude, but we have an important inquiry. Who are you? Why are you here? And have you seen my hat? God! I'm Princess the Run of the Amazon. My mother is the queen of the Amazons. That's how royalty works, bitch. You, you're a princess. My mother's gone missing, and she's believed to have traveled through your lands. The Amazons really exist. I thought my parents made them up. That, I, I, I imagine three that three days away in a giant fucking castle citadel on a hill. I could see it from my house, <laughs> but I thought it was fictional. I do a lot of drugs. I keep them in my hat. <laughs> Have you seen my mother? Tell me where she is. There really is a group of women in the mountains that enslave men. Is this man your slave? Technically, yes. All of the guards went deadly serious, their looks turning heated. I'm not ashamed of my culture. You bloody well should be! That was true! The guards broke out in insults, demanding they get out of their sight and that they were not welcome in Grimar, which seems like a perfectly reasonable reaction. Saren pleaded with Loren not to kill them, so they would not earn the ire of the Empire, or else they would never find her mother. Their search was not going well. Sure, let's go to the castle! That sounds like a great idea! All of our encounters thus far have been brilliant! <laughs> oh god. It's a fan blade that got embedded in his head. <laughs> The highest place of authority was naturally the next step in their search. We walked right up to the castle and we were, were able to step inside the Grand Hall, which was open to the public. It's the same guard, only older! <laughs> he just has a different head! No, wait! Are you, are you the same guard with a false beard? No, I'm not! I have a totally different voice! I see you met my brother! They were not allowed any further, however. A group of guards and a royal vassal were blocking the entrance to the inner cloister. Many peasants were already pleading with the vassal to gain entry. Please, my family is starving. You must let me in. The council is... Who is, which, who is this, then? Is this the guard? That's the guard. Clearly a guard. Council is in session and we'll hear no one. Fuck off. Loren pushed past everyone with ease and stood at the front of the mob. The vassal took a step back just to take her in. The guards went tense from how threatening she looked. I am Loren of the Amazons, and I have come to speak with your queen. Queen? What queen? The Empire has no queen. It's an empire, ain't it? Loren closed her eyes briefly as if it pained her. Then you're king. Are you joking? We have a council that governs the Empire, not king or queen. I tell your council that I seek an audience with her. 
ma'am. Vassal laughed at Loren, instantly enraging her. Her jaw clenched, but she restrained herself. I like that there are only three kinds of actions. No, of course, we're existence. like, get, we're getting the fuck out of here. We're leaving, we're yeah. leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. Oh, Ooh. fuck. <laughs> and that was how we went to jail. <laughs> you heard the princess. Fetch your counsel. Right, she's a princess and I'm a forest nymph. You're the sixth princess who's trying to get inside today, lady. I will not ask you again Tell your counsel that the Ren of the Amazons demands an audience. Look, we study foreign relations and we understand that the royalty of the Amazons not allowed to leave their citadel. So what are you on about, crazy woman? The guards raise their women, their women, their weapons, ready to eject Lorraine from the premises. <laughs> Mistress, let's not get thrown out of the city or worse, in jail. We'll not get away with this. When my mother is restored to the throne, she will punish you. The vessel did not seem worried, though Sarah knew that he definitely should be. Okay. Bad, yep. Maybe we should have just gone there and not pissed everyone in town off. Man, this woman is bad at really everything. Like, To be fair, your dude's not much better. <laughs> fair. But, like, dude was a slave his whole life. Yeah, theoretically, this woman is was raised to be a diplomat and royal figure of some kind. Mm -hmm. Apparently, the Amazons don't interact with a, like an important aspect of being royalty of the in the Amazons is not interacting with anyone outside the Amazons. What makes you mythical? <clears throat> West of Loathing. Oh. Mm. Their search for information was more difficult than they had anticipated. Their investigation had only brought them trouble and suspicion among the locals. Actually, Sean, we can't stream West of Loathing. They uh, do not have enough abs uh, <laughs> for us to even begin. Worse, Loren was not earning any favor for being an Amazon princess. She confided in Saren that if her title was not to be honored, then she would refrain from invoking it. She was willing to put her pride aside for the sake of her mother. By the time they reached the tavern, the sun was starting to set. Fearful of getting the same treatment she received everywhere else, Loren held back and waited for Saren to turn to her. So this literal whole progression has been have a bunch of bad encounters and wait for a man to do it. Awesome. Maybe we should have been Elf Girl. Agreed. <laughs> but but look at those pouty draw hazel the, eyes. But the draw of those abs. <clears throat> it's like we've learned nothing new. What do we do now? Saren was surprised at first, not understanding why royalty would ask a mere servant for advice. Then he remembered that Loren doesn't even know how to tie her shoes or do up pants, given that she's never worn pants in her life, and it's the first time she's been outside the Citadel. Let's 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 be friendly. Let's be nice to this. Sure. <laughs> Joking and forceful have gone a hundred percent badly so far. Yes. Do, do you like do you have a strong feeling otherwise? No. No. We should rent a room from the owner in this tavern and inn. We will make more progress tomorrow. It was a very safe. reasonable suggestion. Mm -hmm. Is it really safe for us to do that in such a place as this? Well, no one believes you're a princess. You don't appear to have any belongings oh, except that. from murder. Look at that soft look. Oh, oh. I'll guard you vigilant. I'll guard you vigilantly tonight, your highness. Everything will be fine. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say guard with enough uh, innuendo. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's... I'll guard you vigilantly. You, you grew up in Amazon sex dungeons. <laughs> We've established this. It's part of the case, part of the character. Very well, that sounds like a good idea. Saren looked surprised, but nodded in agreement as he led the way up to the man behind the bar. Loren walked over to the counter with a confident stride. Give me a room. That man is covered in blood! <laughs> it's Chuck of Testa. The bartender ignored her and continued what he was doing. Did he not hear me? Maybe not. You, give me one of your rooms. Loren raised her voice when she spoke, but the owner still ignored her. Acknowledge my presence, you uneducated lout! Ah, uh, uh, let me try, your highness. Sir, may we please rent one of your rooms for tonight? Nothing. These humans are animals, again implying that Amazons are not human. 
bartender scoffed. Loren's patience was gone. She reached across the bar and grabbed the owner by his tunic, yanking him clear off the ground. In the citadel... Guards! Guards! <clears throat> Some guards who were standing in the corner hurried forward to apprehend them. Draco suddenly appeared out of the crowd and hurried to the side of Loren and Saren. Be gone, weakling. No need to thank me. The half elf magician whipped up a bright hot wall of fire in a bright and hot down half in a white hot city. act of not fucking helping the situation, sending everyone into further panic. <laughs> the fire didn't burn anything, but it was too hot, keeping the guards at bay. That's not how burning works. You followed us. Of course I did. Loren drew her swords. You spend your life once. Don't get in my way again. Don't kill. We don't want trouble with the Empire. Yeah, what he said. We're too handsome to die. <clears throat> Loren growled and ran right through the wall of fire. Draco and Saren can only hear her fight off the guards. Uh, she shouldn't be able to do that. Saren shook his head and ran through the fire as well to help his mistress. Draco chuckled at how little his magic daunted these two travelers. I like most folk, are you? I do super dig the, like, shadow there. That's really clever. So Draco is now... <laughs> We're just gonna kill a bunch of fools. Uh, yeah, back row him. Um, yeah, yeah. We're gonna throw him right behind our fighter. Alright, so here's our initiative order again. Alright. Saren, Draco, and then Loren. Alright. Uh, so... We don't have any buffs yet, so... So we're just gonna pop a shot off at one of these guards, I assume? Uh, yep. Might as well. Ooh. Ooh. They have more armor. They do. We need to crack that armor. But it's only doing. It's doing exactly double, isn't it? No, it's doing a little bit. More. A little bit more than double. So it's still probably worth it? At least until uh, we see how much fireball does. Yeah, or until we see how much damage they do. Yeah. They might be stabby. Alright. So, well, yeah. Alright, so. Alright. So we have Fireball. Oh! 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 Why? Whoa. Why did we not? What is? What does his staff do? Just out of curiosity. So Magic Bolt. Oh, he's better, th right? So he's more focused than we are. So he's better at. Uh, yeah. Or yeah. Or I just mean, kill them all. So Murder hits, them all. Hits with fire damage for three hundred percent of the caster's base attack, and has a ten percent chance of causing the burn condition for three turns. The enemies on the sides take fifty percent of the damage. So, so these guys, the, the the side guys, will actually take less, I guess. Yeah, they'll take half of that, but we're nope. not. No, nope, we're not. No kidding, we won. Yeah, we just killed three people. Oh, that's a sweet fire emote. Where's that from? Oh, that's the the global Twitch lit. All right, Lauren gains a level. All right, okay. She has no skill points, but she has three after these points. Yeah, I'm just. We just put him in the strength. Yeah, we stab good. We got some money. We're going to kick the last guard, sending him to the floor where the rest of the guards were groaning in pain. The fight and fire died down and an empty tavern was all that was left. No shit. We are never coming back to Loren this town. Loren wiped the blood from her face and stalked back over to the bartender and was like, I'm a murderer, give me a bedroom. Where were we? Be gone, you filth! I'll only call more guards! Before Loren can respond, a bag of gold suddenly dropped on the bar in front of them. Everyone looked to see a stout girl sitting at the bar with her hand on her hip. Just give the silly people their room, Gunther. Stick to your own business, little girl. A girl? Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. This one's oh my god! Animus! <clears throat> oh my god. Oh, my... My eyes are enormous! She stood. St oh, you're you're the narrator, though. She stood straight up on top of the bar and stomped over the party, kicking mugs and plates off the top as she did. Her small ta stature told them immediately she was a female dwarf, not a young woman. You take that back, or I'm taking my bag of gold back. No, that's terrible, boys. That's gonna make everyone hate everything. Yeah, no, that's that's. Uh, you take that back, or I'm taking my bag of gold back. Yeah, blood up in the Slightly seven. Yeah, we can. The taxidermist bartender. 
Everyone stared at her. Even at her size, she looked deadly and dangerous. If she had bags of gold to throw away, she, probably, she was probably someone of great importance. That's... The dwarf woman suddenly smiled and laughed. I'm just joking with you. Being little's my best. Oh yeah, she is rogue. She's even got... Yeah. Um, I'm just joking with you. Being little my best quality. Fit in small places and never be found for days. That's fucking weird. That she's got a Claremont Southern accent. Correction, she is not rogue. She is Dora. She's an explorer. <laughs> she's not a rogue at all. Dora, by the way, and this is Gunter. Say hi, Gunter. The bartender mumbled and took the money, <clears throat> exchanging it for a room key. Is anybody all worried about the like legal officials that are like bleeding out on the floor? Dora, that's a lovely name for a lovely dwarf. I'm Draco Firestarter, and yes. Draco reached up to shake the dwarf's hand, but Loren quickly slapped his arm away. Do you expect him to return for your gold? Why are you helping us? Because you're different. You mean strangers? No, silly. You're really tall and angry looking. You're an Amazon, right? An Amazon? <clears throat> well, that explains the tallness and the angriness. Hold your tongue. I'm a dwarf, so I'm different too. Here's a tip for you. Since you're obviously new round here, money always makes you new friends. I'm a dwarf, so let me tell you, give you some fucking life advice. All right? Pay for gold, shit. gold, 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 beards, gold, beards. Thank you for your advice. You're very welcome, Miss. Would you perhaps be interested in sticking together? I need all the allies I can get. Saren blinked in surprise at Loren, but Draco frowned immediately. We're in the process of conducting a rather lengthy, lengthy search. Would you like to accompany me? A trip, huh? I don't know about that. I can't afford just leave to, to just leave my job here. Oh, Pody! Look how Pody she is. Mm -hmm. I like the dwarves just have anime eyes. Yeah, that's also true in my D and D game now. <clears throat> There'll be a substantial reward upon completion. I am Princess Loren of the Amazons. Dwarf's eyes lit up. A princess? Then this sounds very interesting. I've always been a bit of an adventurer, you see. I can tell by the pulpits. <laughs> Thief hunter. Oh, see, I thought she had no interest in Draco because he was a dude. It's his lack of pauldrons. Yeah. She's like, you can't be of any worth. You are not a fighter of any... Uh, no. Sorry, are you a man, Draco? Well, well yes. Uh, where are your abs? Could you show them to me? I, I, I suppose. And you say you're a warrior? <clears throat> For the first time since no Saren had known her, Loren smiled. I'm glad to hear that. God, that's her we'd smile? Love, we'd love to have someone have you come along with us. Why does she get a formal invitation when I got a pointy sword through the throat? The red's demeanor changed when the man approached her with a scowl upon it on his face. A magician! I have amazing skills, look! Sent fireworks shooting out of his hand. Knock that off! Oh sorry. You're so persistent. Ren turned to Saren to ask her next question. What do you think we should do? Oh! No, no, no. So so this is our <clears throat> first romance option. I wanna go with we never romance Loren. That seems like a really bad idea. Yeah. No. Like, and also, there is nothing likable about her. No. There is, like, she is a, the, expressed, like, the only endearing quality she has is, uh, like, loyalty to her mother. Yeah. Fair. Like, uh, everything else is, yeah, no, let's, you're thinking forceful? Or are you just hovering? I'm just hovering. Um... Yeah, let's let's keep with friendly. We can be friends with this lady because she will murder us, straight up murder us uh, at like the drop of any. I think we should accept Draco. He was very helpful to us there. You do have a point. He would be useful to us in the future as well, thanks to his magic skills. I have to admit that you're right. We shall accept him. She returned to Draco. Her expression is impassive as it always was when she dealt with men. You may join our group if you are so determined. Stars and moons, my watch us up and granted. <clears throat> Calm down, please. Yes, your almighty Amazon Princess Shelley. 
the throne <sighs> and Saren sighed in exasperation. The newly expanded group ended up booking three rooms from the cranky owner. Draco and Dora each took their own room, while Loren and Saren shared a room. They both settled down, and Loren started to undress from her light armor. She stopped before she removed her top when she noticed that Saren was watching. She was strong more than just physically. There was no question that she was mentally strong as well, for only a person with great strength of heart would deny a royal crown to instead search for a loved one. Again, her only enduring quality. Every time I right-click, it brings up the menu. Turn your eyes away. She glared at him irritably and he looked away immediately. I'm... I'm sorry, Your Highness. I'm confused. You literally wear, like, so, sort of a loincloth. And I didn't realize that, like, you're not wearing anything from the waist down. I suppose... I don't want to have to tell you again. At least have some humility if you're going to be staying in the same room as I am. But you could have booked four rooms! Or stayed with the dwarf, which you are super into, obviously. Understood. I know decency <clears throat> is difficult for a man like you, but know that I'll kill you if you try anything. Like, this li is a really... Literally every time a woman has been in a room with me, it's because she wanted to fuck me. Um, and she could kill you. D true. 100% like, of the women you have sexed are Amazons. Yeah, I and all of... Yeah, I have lived a very straightforward life to this point. I have done displays of skill on behalf of my Amazon mistress, and also... I had a lot of sex. I don't know. Yeah, like, we was. established this in character. Like, there's two things men do in your em empire. I'm supposed to be protecting you. I can take care of myself. Sun disappeared beneath the horizon, and the room became completely dark as night came. While the conversation could have gone better, that was the moment when Saren realized just how special Loren was. What? <laughs> she was beautiful, deadly on the field of batter, and later in this tale, the one to make the most difficult decision foreshadowing well I, I don't like that's more I don't like... so I I will ref I will <laughs> insist that I have we have not found joking friendly or forceful to be a particularly difficult decision nor does Loren appear to struggle with that but we now have two more party members mm-hmm neither of which I hate <laughs> Saren woke up with a start when he heard several suspicious noises and saw that Loren was already awake hurriedly getting dressed in her armor. If I did that in Dungeons and Dragons, if I, if I, if, if, if you guys woke up and I was like, you guys hear suspicious noises, what's your first question? It, where? Yeah, what is a suspicious noise? Yeah, like, this is, <laughs> narrator, this is your opportunity to fill that in. Get ready to fight. What? Right now? Oh, like not innuendo style? Like, 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 <laughs> like I actually. Should, like, I should get my bow. While he sounded surprised, he was already getting ready for the call and flick. Also, sure, that's a sentence. We've got trouble brewing. It's probably an assassination attempt. You should have woken up before me if you wanted to earn my, any respect. Before he had a chance to respond, the glass of the window shattered, and several pirate wolverines came piling inside. You have no business here. Your abs are substandard. They are substandard. The thugs didn't respond to so They reached for their weapons and started to approach ominously. State your names. Despite her stentorian orders, they did not respond. She drew her swords without further hesitation and hurried toward the first of the thugs. Alright. Ah, oh, so you'll start the next one. Oh yeah, we should save our game because I don't know how to do that. Alright. Hey! Oh, that was pretty straightforward. Oh, we do have an audio sa an auto save though. All right, so we're just gonna. Uh, yeah. Okay, just the two of us. All, All right. right. Um. So, oh, the one on the left, the ones on left and right are uh, weaker. So let's kill that. Oh yeah. Aim shot or bow shot? Aim shot has always been better. Yeah, like unless it's if we need the more actions for healing, maybe, but I don't think we need that right now. Let's, let's just... <clears throat> yeah, and then we're just gonna... Oh, do we wanna... We can do 125% normal damage. And a chance to confuse. Sure. Uh, and delay is 6, which is the same as a sword, but it costs us uh, 20 SP. Which seems reasonable. Confuse makes me think he might not attack, which seems great early on. Oh yeah, he didn't. He didn't attack. 
Man. All right. So yeah, normal shot. Yeah, staggered oh. two rounds. <clears throat> okay, so we can. Should we ignore him then? Yeah, let's ignore him. We'll. When Saren comes back around, we'll bop him. Yeah. So yeah, she to can. Death. Uh, no, weaker guy. Right. Weaker guy. Oh, okay, we can knock down him. I mean, these guys aren't really dishing out a lot of punishment. Saren, normal shot. Uh, I think we go for the big yeah, one. Yeah, we don't want to have to waste an action. Her, her, she's better being stabbed. Uh, no. No. So yeah. She's a small one. Yeah. Yay! Yay! We win. <clears throat> Oh, we should... Okay, yeah, no, they're not hurt that much. So they want us to put it into skill, which is going to buff his damage. And I don't think, actually, that Will is increasing our uh, SP. I think that goes up level-wise. Okay, so what is... Yeah, so what do we use Will for? We don't cast... Uh... Yeah, because that's your mage attack power, right? Yeah, but we don't... Oh, we so... shouldn't have put anything into that. Yeah. Oh, well. Because it doesn't seem to, like... Yeah, it doesn't seem to affect the healing. Affect our healing at all. After the first wave finished, Draco and Dora burst into the room. Princess Loren, Saren, what's all the ruckus? We heard noises and came as quickly as we could. <clears throat> You're a bit late, actually. There wasn't enough time for their conversation to continue, though. A new group of enemies started to materialize before them, their forms seeming to solidify before their very eyes. Saren tensed instinctively, knowing that there was sorcery at play. Oh, there is a goblin, <laughs> Shaman. Fair. The adversaries have materialized that were none other than a few goblins and a giant hulking overlord. That's Grob. The goblin shaman captured you. Yes, be careful. His magic's very powerful. Not even one tree tall. <laughs> magic, magic, magic. What? Magic, magic. It's That's real hard, hard to say in that voice, eh? We can handle a few grannies by ourselves. Dora pulled out a short bow and arrow. Indeed. Alright, here's our first boss fight. Sweet. Okay. Right, so, Dora obviously back, back row. row. Back row, back row, yep. Alright, so. Okay, so we gotta clear the front row. Oh no, we can. So, these three can shoot directly into the back row. Alright. So, I'm thinking that we have them either, um... either focus fire the boss. Oh. So, boss is weak against two... Uh, uh, fire. No, that's not boss. That's Goblin Warrior A. Hover over boss. Not... At least not weak against... Or not, at least not strong against fire. That's yeah. useful. The other ones are weak against fire. Oh, no. What we should do... Everybody should focus on the back row. Except... Uh... Fireball McFireballton, who's going to annihilate the front row with one shot. Oh, yeah. Totally. All right. So, we're going to put some damage on Grob here. Yeah. All right. Uh, what can she do? She's got normal and aim shot, but she does more damage than our dude. Yeah, because she uh, learned focus. And that's literally it. All right. So, for now. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're also going to turn on that aim shot. Yeah. Alright, now, can we fire... Oh, we can totally fireball the back row. Yeah, but if we fireball the front row, do we kill everybody? No, I don't think so. Those guys were weak to fire. Yeah, the whole front row is weak to fire. But, ah, it doesn't kill them all. Still, it's a good kind of damage. Yeah, and that means, um, Loren will start being able to just hack through the front row casually. Yeah. And well, if we go there, we can probably drop the boss with our next shot. But our next shot our next is like a, million, ways off. A, yeah. a million miles away. Yeah, yeah right. let, let's let's let the Ren do her thing and actually kill someone. Oh, so close. All right. Yeah. One down. Great. There's one last shot coming in. Stone form. Rob use stone form. It doesn't tell me what that does. I bet if we hover over Grob, we can see what it does. Staggered. Go back over. Oh. What's in the upper left there? Oh no, staggered, okay. What about if we show his resistances? No. No? 
That's right. No idea what it does. Yeah. Yep. Just perfect. Uh, alright. Um, I think easy. I might. vote Fireball for the back row. Uh, yeah, he still has lots of uh, magic left. <laughs> and then uh, we'll have Loren kill yep. that guy. Now the back row becomes the front row. Oh, yeah, boss ran away. That's good. And now he dies. And now he dies. Bows can't shoot the front row. Oh no, she's paralyzed. Oh, okay. So she's defending. Keep up next time. So we'll get the uh She's still paralyzed? Nope. Oh. Oh. Well Hooray! We win! All yeah, right. I I'm I'm slightly worried that easy might be too easy. Yeah, it seems like that. Alright, so... We can't fireball any better. Okay. Oh, oh, is that... Oh, is that available? Yeah. Oh yeah, it doesn't have the boat. yes. Do, or do we want to give him some variation? So, so let's for, take a look. So, we got fire... Um... We start with fire damage for... They seem to do less damage as you get higher. No, it's... Oh no, oh no. So, range is all and it's an AoE. Uh, this one hits an entire row. Um, which implies the rows might get bigger. And this one hits everyone. Okay. Blizzard is the same thing, only with Frozen. Tornado is the same thing. Only uh, tired. I'm getting the earthquake phantom form. Uh, it's a buff. Increases gonna... defense by 50% and speed by 10. I'm going to say grab ice. Um, because usually things that are strong against fire are weak against ice. Things okay. that are... Let's check our uh, so max spell points, spell and skill point regeneration. Mm hmm. Cure an ailment. Decrease enemy anger value to prevent an overdrive. I don't know what that means. But it does sound bad. And then we get into haste. So, haste seems like a super good skill. I'm... But I think, I think yeah, you're I, right. I'm thinking we're going to find another buffer. Yeah, I think... And I think, like, having an elementalist that can focus on things that have I agree. specific weaknesses is useful. All right. Oh, we got a Vest of Mirrors. Oh, nice. Staff of Storms and a Shrub. All right. What are you good at? You should be really good at shooting things. Oh. No, I don't see why I would do that. Yeah. You are, you are going to be the shooting. You tinning shot. You can paralyze enemies. Pretty good. The enemy is not a boss, all right. Um, camouflage. Increase a character's defense value. Mm -hmm. um, Marine of Arrows. That's your rogue AoE. Sneak attack. It staggered targets. I think the paralyzed one is pretty good. Uh, what do we got in the other? I'm thinking the other the other tab for her. Oh, this is the rogue tab. This is like okay, the, yeah, the, the bombs same, and yeah. stuff. Bombs and poison. All right. Yeah. No, she is she is this she is archer lady. Paralyzed does seem pretty good. Yeah. Um, what is uh? Oh, that is this one available? Yeah. What is uh level two? Level two increases the character's defense by thirty percent for four turns. Okay. No. We, and for Other now. people are defending her. Yeah. All right. Yay! After a series of attacks from the party, Grob finally gave up. The creature collapsed, struggling to breathe. You've lost. I'm going to say before I kill you. Just one thing. 
Rob lifted his staff and growled an incantation that cast a spell over the entire group. Draco had no time to protect them with an anti-curse, and the group was instantly paralyzed. Loren struggled against the spell, but Grob's sorcery was too much, even for her. You may have managed to defeat me this time, but this is far from over. I have another surprise for you. The dead goblins and thugs the group had killed were changing forms, turning into what looked like city guards. Though they were in a pool of blood, the guards' uniforms were unmistakable. We're in serious trouble now. We just killed like five dudes downstairs before we rented these rooms. No, no, we just beat them up. I do, do hope, hope you like humans, Amazon Queen. You're going to get Ron Boyle's prison now. Oh, sorry, that was Rob. I saw the green text. Rob disappeared, fading into thin air just as he had appeared. The screams were enough to alert local guards to come running and see what happened. This is bad. Blast that girl. He's spoiled me again. You'd think I'd know better by now. We have more to worry about, right? Oh, sorry, there's an exclamation mark. I always miss those. <laughs> halt! Lower your weapons! Despite the demands of the guard, Loren had no intention of surrendering. She tried to resist as the soldiers swarmed around them, shouting obscenities. It was futile. There were too many of them, and soon everyone's hands were shackled behind them. But she has two they were pushed swords! Through the streets. Two <laughs> swords! So, here's what I don't understand about what just happened in my life. If Grob... Did Grob enchant a bunch of guardsmen and then, like... Yeah, he illusioned transform them? Transform them and then get them to attack us? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is exactly what Grob just did. Because otherwise, like, they're just... Goblins that got turned into guardsmen, and they're dead. No, no, because then he's... Why would he sacrifice his own goblins? Right? Well, and, 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 but it's also that moment when the guardsmen come and it's like, Is that Phil? No, I don't know any of these people. And hand me at once. Cease your struggling, wench! Wench. You will die this day. Your Majesty, no! Fight will only make us look guilty. Unlike those body, <laughs> those bleeding bodies. <laughs> Let's just take, let them take us in. I promise I can get us out. With money. You promise? Dwarf's honor. That's nonsense. You can't promise to get us free from a jail cell. Yeah, I can. I bet you ten gold I can. A guard pushed Saren forward harshly and he stumbled forward with a groan. Uh, unfamiliar, this harsh treatment is unfamiliar to him as, uh, he grew up in slavery. Listen, I can cast off a lost spell right now and blind them all. It'll give us more than enough time to escape. We can take the horses and seek refuge with the elves and druids. I, I, <laughs> They're much I, friendlier I, than these guys. I, I can hear you talking. What are you guys whispering? Shut up! For the guard moved back to restraining Loren, Saren inched back to Draco and Dora. But the Empire, Ellipsis. Those guys, a bunch of big meanies, really. I'll just enslave us, you know. No trial or anything, but we can escape right now with my magic. This was a key decision that rested on their shoulders at the late hour of the night. While their journey was still in its early stages, the importance of this choice was unparalleled. Okay, game, I get it. But they had to make the decision quickly. Oh, um... Escape from jail, or... Run to the elves. I think what we're really betting on here is the competence of our new party members. Mm hmm. Who seems more competent? Okay, so we're following Dora's plan. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> like, as much as it hurt her pride to do so, Loren was convinced to surrender to the guards. They took both of her swords. They took us back to the guardhouse. The party was captured and locked away in a prison. Dora informed them that she couldn't free them as promised. Since it was more difficult than she had originally what the thought. Fuck? Time slipped away. The tensions between them were starting to mount. Loren wore an imperturbable impression. But Saren was not nearly so calm when trapped behind the bars of a jail. So, as opposed to a lifetime of slavery. Dora! You don't have to shout so loud. I'm right here, you know. You haven't been able to get us out of here, like you promised. Don't you have anything to say for yourself? We were counting on you. 
You owe me ten and gold. And somebody owes me ten gold pieces. <laughs> I'm just saying. Calm down. I'm working on it. I didn't think they'd use this type of lock. So you were just going to use a lock pick to get us out? I thought you had connection or wiles or talk ourselves out. You're just a common thief, aren't you? I would make an argument that she's an uncommon thief. Hey, don't go throwing around that word so lightly. I may borrow things without permission and forget to give them back, but I am not a common thief. Translation, I'm the person in the party that likes to play a kender. Save our game. <clears throat> this lock is just unpickable is all. I trusted you, and now we're hidden here to rot. All of you shut up. I started and jumped slightly as he looked over to see where she was confined. I am sorry. Just because we can't escape by the original method doesn't mean we can't still escape. Do you have a plan? I've been thinking non-stop. I may have something, but it will take some coordinating to execute properly. Sarin. Teamwork! Saren, grate the bars to pieces on your abs. <laughs> it doesn't involve killing, does it? I hate killing. It's all over my robes. I've only done it twice in the past two days. I'll buy some new robes, you dunderhead. Stop bickering for two minutes. Her grace has something to say. Also, we should uh, manage our inventory. Oh, yeah. But we got... Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so... Oh, she doesn't have a melee weapon. All right, so we have... A short bow... Has a hunting bow... Yeah, it would, uh, it would tell us the differences. I think they're the same. Does it? Yeah, because if you hover over in the... If you hover... Mine is... Oh, right, I should... Well, let's give her a sword. All so right. That she's not... So now, can, now if we hover over the other ones, does it tell us anything? Uh, uh, they're just the same. I think they're just the same. Okay. But yeah, that's that's 10 damage, and this is 16. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that one is better. Oh, there we are. There we are. We can have okay. it written here. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, and we got a mirror? A vest of mirrors. Minus mm. 7 defense. Because it's cloth. Oh, it's gonna be for its wizardy stuff. It's wizard stuff. Alright, let's go take a look at our wizard. Our uh, wizard is currently wearing... A vest. A vest. A vest of mirrors, more magic, more HP regen, more Maybe spell regen, less defense. That's great. Loren fix deals with his spell defense. Yeah. Or with his defense. All right. And uh, we got a stick for him. Oh, he's got two sticks already? Oh, no. It's Oh, it's two hands. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It is a better stick. Better stick. Go. Awesome. Save king. Thorondrakor grew bashfully silent. What's your plan, your majesty? Thorondrakor's eyes met with Sarah. She looked at him like he was more than just a slave for the first time. It's risky, and yes, it does involve killing. It's my plan, after all. Oh, trots. I don't know about you, <clears throat> but I'm not going to rot in this jail cell for much longer. I have to find my mother. Thorondrakor closed her eyes for a moment as she returned to her thoughts. We can kill the god who brings us our food and use his keys to unlock our cell. Also steal his weaponry and then... Four thoughts could continue the sound of guards' heavy footsteps echoed down the hall. I would also like to point out that if this was a D&D campaign, this would be complete bullshit. <laughs> here's, your, here's your plan. Do you have a plan to escape the cell? Oh, totally. Doesn't work. You can't pick the lock. Okay, I have a new plan. Guards come. Everyone in the party came to attention, looked up to see an old man surrounded by several armored men. Hooray, it's Gandalf! Gandalf has come. Oh, how are you going to be old man guy? Wow, we're going to get old man Ryan in oh, here? Oh, we're going to get old man Ryan. All right, Night Rich. Oh, no. Hey, oh, vote for not this. Oh, Saren surveyed the man curiously, knowing full well that he had to be a mage on account of his hat and stick and beard. He wore a wizard's hat and carried a magician's staff. 
Saren watched with a flick of the flicker of worry in his eyes as the eye of Loren intensely. She looked as though she were ready to spring an action at any moment and snap this old man's chicken neck. But the expression of the old man was imperturbable. It's twice they've used that word. Oh, good day, young foreigners. Who are you? Oh, you're very direct for a prisoner, young lady. But there's no reason for me to not introduce myself properly. My name is impronounceable. <laughs> it's Apolimesho. 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 Hey. Apolimesho. Hey. And <laughs> I am Archwizard of Grimoire. Gesundheit. So what do you want with us? Well, your group is a very unique bunch. We don't see a collection of individuals such as with such a diverse background in these parts, and we suspect that you are adventurers and would like to hire you to kill some large rodents. Let in the me basement. tell you about some bullshit prophecy. Ryan looks suspicious at the old man, but remains silent as she listened to his explanation. Since you are all quite unique, we have a pro. Unlike the normal kind of unique, where everybody's pretty much the same, but has, like, different nail polish on, which is still technically unique. We have a proposition for you. Would you be interested in hearing our offer? I doubt we have very much choice in the matter. This town's council, our empire's council, really, is willing to forgive you for the trouble of murdering about a dozen of our guards. If you'll help us with a very urgent matter, because we're a little short-handed on the murdering people as a bunch died last night, there is a precious artifact that we are trying to recover, but all of our attempts to get it back thus far have been thwarted. The Empire is in search of the only known holy sword left in existence, the Ember Blade. It is said to be atop Mount Kronos. That mountain is in Elven territory. That is correct, young one. The only way of access is to pass through the Elven territory, which instantly creates a complication for us humans. Again, insinuating that Amazons are not human. The Elves prohibit anyone but from the Empire on their lands, making it impossible for any of our squads to go. Oh, so we don't have fucking griffins like you Amazons. And young travelers, that is where you come in. You think they'd let us pass because we're not all humans, correct? That's exactly what we hope. Since your group is small and of mixed kind, we're hoping the elves will think that you're simply travelers rather than on a mission for the Empire. So you just want us to go to the mountain and retrieve the sword, and then we'll go free? Yes. Easy peasy. Almost too easy. What's the catch? The catch is you have to climb a fucking mountain! Also, uh, given its name, it's probably like a titan or something. The journey to Mount Kronos is not an easy one. The forest has many dangers, so the elves will not be your only threat. The mountains themselves are home to the mountain dwarves, snow goblins. They're basically the forest goblins, but palette rotated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And other hostile creatures. Dwar frowned at his comment, but Loren interjected before the dwarf woman had a chance to say anything more. I'm looking for my missing mother. That is a priority in why we came to this town. If your freedom is not incentive enough... It's not. <clears throat> Thank you, I've needed to clear my throat for a while. Well, as a member of the council... I could make use of all the resources available to me to find your missing loved one. I may even personally know her whereabouts. Mm -hmm. What is your mother's name? You're intense. Queen Karen of the Amazons? Silence fell for a few moments as she admitted the truth of their mission. Apollo Michaud didn't seem to, know, to be surprised by her statement and instantly drew up conclusions in his mind. He nodded in response, as Gandalf would. I can most certainly help you, I say, non-committally. Surprise was, uh, re reflected in Loren's eyes was clear. Are you serious? Do I have your word? Yes, you certainly do, princess. I will be glad to assist you if you first accept my task. 
Uren hesitated for a moment, a war of thoughts pulling back and forth in her mind, before she nodded somberly. I'll accept your mission, then. We'll venture through elven territory and retrieve the artifact for you. New quest, Emberblade! New quest. Wonderful! I will be accompanying you, of course, to ensure that everything goes as planned. Cancelled. Quest cancelled. You mean to make sure we don't run away? You could say that. Ren looked over to Saren, a glimmer of excitement reflected in her eyes. I got nothing, dude. I... <sighs> Why would I be any of these things right now? I also reiterate, this campaign is bullshit. Uh, yeah. Friendly! <laughs> this will be good, though. If any help is welcome. I'm sure you'll be a valuable asset to our... Sir, sir, this time I'm talking to him. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll be a valuable asset to our group, Sir Apollo Michel. In the way you instruction. <clears throat> of course, I'm glad you have accepted our proposition. As long as you keep your word as well... You need not be concerned with me keeping my word, nor about me slowing you down. On account of this rod skateboard I have. I can tell already. My magic sense is tingling just looking at him. He's definitely not as harmless as he may seem. He doesn't see it. I'm sure traveling with a lot of you will be a memorable experience. His dead fucking eyes, though. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, someone thinks I'm memorable. What'd I tell you, Your Highness Chef? I told you I was special. I was special, but not in a good way. You have to say it like that. We already have a magician. Are you good with it, that magic staff? I did not become Archmage by chance, yet I'm still only second level. Good enough for me. The more we help we have, the quicker we can get this over with. Now, easy mode is actually beginning now, and it's just that this guy's level 99. <laughs> He just destroys all of your opponents. Agreed. When do we leave? Tomorrow, before dawn. I'm sorry to say that I cannot free you from the dungeon until that time. So sleep well as well as you can. We have a long road ahead of us. I've got to go pick up 13 dwarves. Alright, well, all right. so now we have, like, more people for our back row than we can fit in our uh, back row. Uh, yeah. So... Alright, so we can't... We don't have a way of, like, checking this guy's stats or anything. Um, so, I'm gonna... Let's put us in front row. Fair. Like, we at least theoretically have a sword. We have a uh, sword, so does And we she. have healing powers. Yeah. Like, we can do things that aren't firing from the back row. Loren's walk was noticeably more forced. To Saren, it was clear she was unhappy with her situation of being forced to do a man's chore before getting his help. However, her silence told him that she was willing to do it for her mother's sake. Careful, we will be traveling along the outskirts of the Elven Forest. Keep your eyes out for hostels.